Hello. The other day somebody sent me a link to this Photoshop tutorial which is about dodging and burning using a soft light layer. I will add a link to this page so you can look at it if you want and that link will be in the description for this video. And the person who sent it to me asked if it was, you know, we could do this in Affinity Photo and so I said I'd have a look. But when I was having a look around, I mean, there are plenty of videos about dodging and burning. You just go to YouTube and do a search for Affinity Photo, dodge and burn, you will find quite a few. And the first one being the official one by Serif. Um, but I thought I'd probably just go over the topic again and hopefully do it more for beginners. Just, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just give you the basics so this is hopefully what I'm trying to do here so coming back to Affinity Photo I have this image here which I took in the evening of Walton on the Nays Tower now I've got I've got this picture twice so I'm going to do the soft light version which is what the person asked for and this version we're going to use like a for want of a better phrase a more traditional method of dodging and burning now I freely admit dodging and burning is not something I'm necessarily that good at so the results may not end up brilliant but you hopefully as a beginner will understand the process. So traditionally the tools that you need here is the dodge brush tool and the burn brush tool. The burn brush tool will make areas darker and the dodge brush tool will make areas lighter. So I'm going to come to the dodge brush tool. So I want to make the tower darker, but uh, lighter I mean, and keep the sky sort of the colour it is. Now when you're on either dodge or burn, you can change the tonal range that you are going to alter. So you can alter the shadows, the mid-tones or the highlights. Well, as this area that I want to do here is in the shadows, I'm going to leave that set to shadows and you want a fairly low opacity so I'm going to go with around the 20% mark to start off with. Now you wouldn't necessarily do this when you were doing um, this normally but I'm going to just duplicate this layer so I'll work on the top layer and then I can turn it on and off so you can see um, the effect that it has had because at quite a low opacity, which is what you really want, the effect will be quite subtle, hopefully. So I'm going to increase the brush size, just double check, opacity is 20%, hardness is on zero, and we're on shadows. So I'm just going to paint over this area of the tower and have another go over that area. Concentrate a bit more at the top here. Right, hopefully if I turn this on and off, you can see that that has just subtly gotten a bit lighter. So let me just go over it a bit more. And what I might do is just come to the mid-tones and just go over that and hopefully it might bring up a bit of extra detail from the mid-tone range like so let's turn that on and off so we can hopefully you can see that so then coming to the burn brush tool now I'm going to try and make this bit of grass down here a bit darker. Um, again, it's in the shadow range, so I'm going to put it in the shadows. I'm going to leave it on 20%. And I'm just going to paint over this bit of grass at the front here. I might increase that opacity a bit just to speed this up a tad. Let's turn that off. 
hopefully you can see that that grass there is getting a bit darker again I'm, I'm just doing this to speed this up I'm increasing the opacity but I mean if you really want to do this you best to do it a bit more subtly and do it at a lower opacity rate so it is only a gradual effect let's just have a quick go on the midtones as well right that's that done so hopefully when I turn this on and off you will see that the tower will, has got lighter and the grass has got darker because that was the original and that's with the dodge and burn Ho subtle but hopefully visible on your screen so that is the like, like more traditional way of doing it now this other way what we need to do is to add a pixel layer above your image and we're going to fill this with 50% grey there are a number of ways you can do this you could flood fill it or you can come up to edit fill and then pick a custom color you could do it from the swatches and it's find 50% grey which is that one and then apply that so you've got this 50% grey here and then just change the blend mode now in the Photoshop tutorial they went for soft light and in a couple of the videos I've watched they've gone for overlay so you can do one or the other I will stick with the way the Photoshop tutorial did it which was soft light so basically what we're going to do is paint on to this 50% grey um, layer either black or white so I'm going to come to the paintbrush tool now obviously black will make something darker and white will make it lighter so let's go with the tower first so we're going to go with white as the color of the brush I've got an opacity of about 10 percent um, I'll lower the hardness down a bit so I'm now going to paint on the 50% grey layer over the tower and hopefully you can see that that is already starting to get a bit lighter because if I turn that on and off you can see that that is getting lighter so the difference with this method and the best thing about this method is you are working non-destructively because with this version I mean you were you were actually working on the image itself so once you've made those changes you can't sort of go back but with this method if you don't like something you can always paint 50% grey over an area that you don't like and sort of bring it back to where it was so if I turn off that background image as you can see all I've done is painted white on that 50% grey layer so I'll leave that as it is at the moment so if I turn that off that's how much lighter that has made that so then let's move it on to making this grass darker so I'll come to black and I'm going to keep the settings at 10% and what have you and I'm going to paint black over this area down here maybe make the brush a little bit bigger and you're just gradually building up the colour because it's on 10% but again like before I'm going to speed this up slightly increase the, opac increase the opacity so you can see that that is getting darker much quicker but you wouldn't really do that normally because you'd build up a subtle change in colour so again if I turn off the actual image 
what I've got here is the black at the bottom and the white for the tower area and turning that on and off you can see what that difference that 50% layer gray layer has made so you've got the two versions there you have the more traditional using dodge and burn tools that is more destructive to the image that you set out with or you have the non-destructive way using the 50% grey layer either set to soft light or overlay I mean if I change this to overlay I doubt it will have that much difference between overlay and soft light so you could use either of those blend modes it doesn't really matter as far as I can see so hopefully as a beginner hopefully you can see that what the differences are and then you can decide which version you prefer so thank you for watching and goodbye